Hello students. In trick number 160 today, I am going to tell you a method through which you can represent square root of decimal numbers on a number line. Now this method finds application in class 9th uh, mathematics syllabus and uh, also in subsequent classes wherein you required require the knowledge of uh, these irrational numbers and understanding of where these irrational numbers lie on a number line. So one of the examples which I am going to take today is under root 7.3. Mostly the students of class 9th know about this method but they hardly know why that particular step has been followed in representing this under root 7.3 on a number line. So here I go. Now first of all whenever you have to represent a decimal number, the square root of a decimal number on a number line, you draw a line which is in length equal to that of this given number. So this is the given line say I'll label this as a d okay a b now and now since this is 7.3 and I need to represent this on a number line so what I do is I will assume this point b as the origin so for simplicity in place of b I am writing o so that we can understand that this is the origin and we will be measuring the distance of under root 7.3 starting from O. So now I will produce this AO to 1 centimeter more and get to a point B. Now this is 1 centimeter. So whenever you have to represent square root of a decimal number, draw that much length line and then produce it by 1 centimeter more or one unit more. Now we need to find out the midpoint of this line AB that can be very easily drawn, drawn by uh, drawing the perpendicular bisector of this line. Uh, students know that they have to take more than half of this line segment and draw the perpendicular bisector. So I am not drawing the bise perpendicular bisector, I am just marking the midpoint of this line so say this midpoint is M. Now M is the midpoint of the entire line AB that is 8.3 centimeter line AB. Now in MS center and MA or MB as radius, both are equal obviously this is the midpoint. I will draw a semicircle. Now this semicircle will be drawn like this. So final step here. Now I will have to draw a perpendicular at O, a line which is perpendicular to AB and drawn at O. So I will just construct this here in the traditional manner in which the students are drawing the perpendiculars. So this is the perpendicular drawn at the point O. Now see this perpendicular is meeting this semicircle at a point say C. So that is the entire construction now. So OC represents the square root of the number 7.3. Very easy construction, very simple and these steps are very easy to remember also. But why this line represents the square root of that number. Now let us see suppose we have to represent square root of x. So what I have done is I have taken AO as x and OB as 1. So this is what I have done in the steps here. So obviously the entire line AB is x plus 1 and since I have marked the midpoint M, so AM and MB both are actually half of AB. So AB is x plus 1, so x plus 1 by 2. So this part is x plus 1 by 2 and this part is also x plus 1 by 2. Now for 
proceeding further i just need to know that this point m will be joined to the point c to complete this right angle triangle com so angle com is 90 degree so now i have a right angle triangle com now if i know cm then i already know mo then i will be able to solve using pythagoras theorem the value of co that is what is my aim to find the value of co now for finding the value of co i just need to know this mo first so for finding mo what i do is i will write mo as see if i take mb and subtract ob from this i will be left with mo so mo can be found out by subtracting ob from mb and what is mb i have already written here mb x plus 1 upon 2 minus ob is one unit so if you take lcm this will become x minus 1 by 2 now see mo is x minus 1 by 2 so one of my aims is already solved i have found out the base of the right angle triangle in which i have i desire to apply pythagoras theorem now come to mc now see this is the center of this semicircle so mb ma and mc all are radii so mc is equal to actually the radii of the semicircle so mc equal to ma equal to mb all are radii and what is ma ma is actually x plus 1 by 2 so this one the hypotenuse comes out to be x plus 1 by 2 so now all three sides of this triangle can be used to apply the pythagoras theorem and find co now let us try and apply this pythagoras theorem here i have co square as cm square minus om square so if i substitute the values here cm is x plus 1 by 2 so x plus 1 by 2 whole square and om is x minus 1 by 2 so x minus 1 by 2 whole square you can apply a square minus b square here or you can solve it using the traditional method the value of this will come out to be x just simplify this using a square minus b square we will get x so co square comes out to be x that implies co is actually root x which was our question so value of co is root x this is the justification behind the representation of any square root of a decimal number on the number line and if you want to represent this actually on a number line then you can produce this to form a number line and then with os center and oc as radius this is the value of root x i can just draw an arc and bring it on the number line like this so this value will correspond to square root of 7.3 on the number line So this completes our two videos on representing irrational numbers on a number line. In the first video, in trick number one fifty nine, I told you how to represent the square root of whole numbers on a number line using the square root spiral. And in this video, we have done the square roots of decimal numbers on number line. So keep learning, keep loving mathematics, and share and subscribe the channel if you like it.